Rain6 here with a quick video on the recoil reduction system that we've been working with uh, DPM systems for over the last few months. There was a low recoil kit that was available before. This is the newest, latest edition with a uh, ton of testing behind it. And we really got to, I think, what's going to be the best solution, depending on what ammo you use. Um, it's going to be the best solution, and let's get into it because there's more pieces in. There's a lot more going on than the previous kit. All right, here's my Archon Type B, and I have one installed in here right now, and it's a real pleasant slide. It's probably meaning it takes about 20% less effort to manipulate the slide than your stock Archon Type B, maybe 30%. I haven't measured that, don't have a tool to measure that, but it's really apparent when you compare this one to this one. These are great. These guns are going to run everything. If you're running the plus B plus type of ammo, whatever it may be, the system that comes stock in the gun is great for that. However, if you're running a lot of normal or above normal, but not hyper type of uh, speeds and or heavier weighted bullets, hotter rounds, uh, easiest way to put it, a lighter setup can work some wonders for your slide manipulation and your felt recoil impulse. So let's go ahead and get this one out of here and let's show you what's in the kit. And we'll go ahead and install it here because some people are gonna wanna know how they're gonna install this into their gun, okay? Don't mind that verbiage right there. Our friends are in Greece and the Archon doesn't exist overseas. It's still Arsenal Firearms over there. So this is for the Archon Type B. Okay, but the rest of the world may know it as a different name. Right here in this package, we can see that we have a label for 1.15 millimeter. That's the soft spring, 1.2 millimeter uh, hard spring. These are the main recoil springs. So this is a stock Archon Type B spring. Those would be replacing those. You get two of those each. And you're gonna get a new softer guide rod. And one other thing, which is gonna be a new, striker spring. The striker spring that comes in the gun is the same wire diameter as the one that comes in this kit, except we tested a bunch of springs. We found basically the lightest re striker spring you can put in the gun without having any light primer strikes, and that's this spring right here. So when you're, what does that mean? Well, when you're manipulating the gun and say the trigger's pressed, and now the striker's forward, you feel a lot of weight there. A lot of that weight is due to, or resistance is due to this striker spring. And then once the guns actually charge, a lot of that weight goes away because the striker is set back in the rear position, ready to, ready to fire, as you can see with the fire indicator on right there. Okay, so let's get this in the gun and we'll go over each part as we do it. These will be available soon, real soon. And it'll have all of these parts. You're gonna have Two of the 1.15 millimeter springs in here. Two of the 1.2 millimeter harder springs. So let's say you did want to run a plus P round, or maybe you were shooting just a round that's just naturally out of the box a little bit hotter because every manufacturer does things a little bit different. Then maybe you want to tune it up and do the 1.2 millimeter. Let's get to the, the recoil spring first. Let's get the stock one out here and do a comparison. So I'm gonna put in the 1.15 softer one. And you can see the difference in the spring right there. So same wire diameter, wire versus stainless steel, but then also three and a half more coils over here. And now let's compare the guide rods. Left is stock, and then the, DP, the DPM systems on the right. The springs are the same size. It's how many coils are you using for each spring? And then you can see the difference here. This flange is a lot longer because you have a much stronger main recoil spring. And for it to match up flush at the end of your opening on your slide, you have to have a longer main tube here. Okay, so let's get the stock one out of the way and let's commence to putting this together. Open side towards the flange right here. And you can see how thick the flange is on 
the DPM systems. Get that in there. See the difference between the flanges right there, here and here. Okay, so open side to the flange. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert this. That's set. And we should feel a difference already just by doing this piece. And sure enough, that slide manipulation is lighter, okay, and easier. If it's easier, more people, depending on their hands or strength, are able to have a more enjoyable experience with the gun, okay? Let me just put that back together because now we're going to do the recoil spring, which is going to add even easier slide manipulation because that striker spring is going to be considerably lighter or less condensed. 2.5 millimeter hex key right in here. And then you're going to want to turn this and let it set right on the ledge right there. Okay, that's where we want that right now until further notice. Now all that did was depress the extractor inside there and now I can take off the back plate. And make sure you keep your thumbs, hands over that because that other striker spring is under pressure on the back of the plate. And there it is. This is how easy it is to swap out this spring, everyone. Okay, you can see the stock one versus the DPM aftermarket one. So we'll put the stock one aside. And then just put it back together. And we ended up with 51, 52 coils, at least 52 coils on this. And we tried all the springs. We had some luck, but it, it 50 coils or 49 coils, I think we had a two out of a hundred. And this is seven different types of brands of ammunition we took out to make sure that that was absolutely the best one. And at 49 coils, we had two light primer strikes out of a hundred and so rounds. And then this one was fail safe. Okay, and we shot, got about 500 rounds through that one right now. Yeah, and you can really tell right here from the very beginning that it's a little bit lighter after the trigger's pressed. So there you go, that's how you install that. So again, the kit's gonna come with the new guide rod, capture guide rod, progressive spring system, very similar to your stock one like this, just shorter and lighter. Two 1.15 millimeter springs, two 1.2 millimeter springs, and then the new striker spring. Okay, and hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments or give us a call, 435-828-1440. Or send us a text. That is uh, a number that take text. So you can uh, text us there and we check that phone and go through everything about at least once a week and sometimes twice a week. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care.